Hi, I'm John O'Mahony. I'm the Vice Chairman of the CSME Club here at, at Mia Park. And I'll give you a brief history. I'm not the right person perhaps to give you the whole history in detail. But what I know is that the club started in about 1961 in Pretoria with a, a steer bunch of uh, people we have got a photograph of. Uh, we have one founder member here who I will introduce you to. But uh, the event today is a, is a fundraiser and a fundraiser for, for, for keeping this facility alive. Uh, we, we, when we started out in 1961, it was a fairly uh, private, exclusive club of hobbyists who, who specialized in steam engines and live steam. And if you ever came along with an electric tram or a, or a petrol driven locomotive, it was frowned upon. But the character and the, and the way we operate is, has changed over the years and particularly since 1994. We've had to uh, find our own funds to keep this facility going. So our mission has now changed towards uh, providing a fun place for the public where the kids can come, they can come and ride. We open every Sunday, the kids ride. People can picnic and have a, uh, a safe place to come and enjoy themselves. In 1993, uh, we, they moved, they started this uh, excavations on this site at Mia Park. And I think it was about 1995, it was officially opened uh, as, as the Mia Park. And by that time, of course, it was 1995, we changed our name to the Centurion Society of Model Engineers. Hey guys, my name is Sean Spahn. Uh, today you are looking at a replica of a 1909 Alton traction engine. Uh, this is a miniature scale. It's a three inch scale to the foot, uh, which basically means it's a quarter size of the, of the original. It is built identically to the full size. So every little uh, uh, nut, bolt, screw, and all that is where it's supposed to be and how it's supposed to be. It's built exactly to scale, and it works exactly to scale. I've got a little firebox which I uh, feed coal into. Um, you can see the smoke coming out the chimney there. Uh, that boils water, water um, creates steam, steam is pressurized in the vessel. Uh, then uh, through my controls I can get the uh, pressure into the cylinder which is up in front here. And that drives uh, a crankshaft which in turn turns the wheels. Uh, I got involved with steam from a very young age, I've been very passionate about steam. Uh, there's something majestic about it, there's something magical about it, it's, it's a difficult one to explain but it's a real, real passion and dedication. Uh, I've owned this engine for about 14-15 uh, years now. Uh, when I bought today, I had to do a complete restoration job on it. Um, but um, I've been using it, I hire it out, uh, I use it on, on all the different fares and uh, anything steam related. Uh, even car shows, that sort of thing. I'm also very much into classic cars. Um, I also buy, sell, restore classic cars. So they all go hand in hand. Uh, great passion of mine. Um, and uh, yeah. I hope you come um, come for a ride on my traction engine sometime. My name is Nick, and this is a, a scale model of the SAR 16DA uh, locomotive with tender. Uh, this train was built over a period of 20 years, in between others, so it took a long time because it's, it's just about normally 100% to scale, so 
all the extra bits and pieces take a long time to make, so it's a working model of, it, of, of the real thing, and it goes, it actually goes. The firebox here where the, where the, the steam is made up, where the boiler made, where the water carries the water, and that's the smoke box where the, where the smoke comes out and you hear the chuff, 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 the wheels, the cylinders that drive the wheels, and in the back of the cab, and this is the tender that carries the water. The, the reversing gear, the reversing gear here, the cylinders that drive the wheels, and the injector valves that put the water in under pressure to the boiler. Bypass valves for the steam injectors, all the turret valves on the top. Very That's the whistle. The writing on the wheel. Where you put the coal in on the top. But no coal at the moment. Hi, I'm Leon Kamfer. I'm chairman of the Centurion Society of Model Engineers. We're a group of uh, enthusiasts that build models, model steam trains like this one. Um, we operate the beautiful uh, miniature railway in Centurion, uh, which we open to the public every Sunday and every third Sunday of the month, we operate our steam locomotives. Uh, this one is my third steam locomotive I've built. It's a model of a South African Railways 15F. It was the most numerous class of steam locomotives in South Africa. The South African Railways procured 255 of them over various years. And this is a model of the last batch they bought from North British Locomotive in Glasgow. Uh, it was a very popular and well uh, operating locomotive, uh, powerful, used on every single uh, railway basically in South Africa. Uh, I, I started, or this loco was finished 15 years ago. I built it over a period of seven years from the original railway plans. So most of the parts on this locomotive is as per the original. Uh, it operates like the original locomotive, uh, steam uh, fired with anthracite, um, uh, evaporate the water and then uh, drive the locomotive.